welcome at the piano for a piano side chat. We welcome Charlene Spiteri. Very nice to have you back here. It's wonderful to have you back in the room. You've been a regular guest on the show <laughs> over the years. And also, congratulations, because you've just rele released uh, a sort of a best of greatest hits with yeah. some new things on it as well. Yeah. Celebrating Texas's last 34 years of marvellous output and creativity. And a lot of that has been captured uh, on these, I was going to say within these walls, but it's not actually, but on this show. On this show, definitely. Any things that you look back on fondly? With I mean, the thing about doing the show is amazing because you meet so many other musicians and um, great things have happened through the years. And, you know, it's been... It feels like yesterday we did our first our first Jules Holland, um, and here I am, all these years later, sitting here talking about the very best of. So it's it's kind of strange, but all memorable as well. Let's have a look at some of those magical moments from the show, starting with Black Eyed Boy. Great moments there from the shows over the years. Now, your first single, I Don't Want to Love It, was top ten. 1989. When that happened, did things change dramatically? Did your lifestyle change at that point? The lifestyle never really changed. I mean, we were basically in a transit van traveling to every university all over the UK and then off to Europe we went. Um, you know, I didn't know if it would last a month, a year. I didn't, I certainly did not think it would last this length of time. So, yeah. It's Bit still of a shock. And on this new record, you've got lots of the greatest hits and you've got yeah. some new things as well. There's some, yeah, there's two you, new tracks. And you've recorded something with Spooner Oldham, the legendary um, sort of stacks uh, writer. Yeah, we went down to um, we went down to Muscle Shoals to the, the infamous Fame Studios and we recorded with Spooner. Um, and we did the Dan Penn Spooner record, which is um, Keep On Talking, which is a Northern Soul classic. And we recorded that with full band. So that was that was a lot of fun, you know, getting Spooner on the piano. His feel is phenomenal. And he's, a, he's just a wonderful man. And speaking of feel, am I right in thinking you play the drums on one track? Yeah, I just played the drums on, on um, the new single, um, and uh, which was, I learned, I, you know, I played a little bit of drums before, but nothing special. And um, yeah, I had to learn to play drums in eight days for to, oh, so, to make the video. Because I was wondering if you'd been a closet drummer and suddenly no, been allowed never, out. I mean, literally, my, my drumming was like, you know, like anybody in a band, you sort of sit behind the kit and you mess around, but I'd never, I'd never played on a record, I've never done anything like that. So when we did the video, it was like, I actually learned to play, um, to read drum music. My drummer, Kat Myers, gave me lessons and she said, um, you'll find it easier rather than just try to remember it. You'll, you will remember it, but learn to read it first. So I did that for for right. um, the single. Percussion instrument, like the piano, drums. Yeah. So, yeah, there you go. And next week, you're going to be playing the Pyramid Stage at Glastonbury. Yeah. For the first time since, I think, 99 or something. Yeah, 99 was the last time we played it. Are you, are you looking forward to that? Yeah, I'm, re I'm really excited. Um, I mean, I just, again, it's like one of those things that you play, it, you know, in the middle of your career, and then suddenly you, you go and play it again now. Um, it feels really good. It's been 20 years since we've been on there, and it's like, what do you take to Glastonbury with you? Um, my pride. <laughs> and will it fall off the stage or stay on there? No, I've got to keep that. <laughs> Always keep the pride intact. Um, yeah, it's, um, yeah, you know, you just go, you do it, and you hope for the best. It's great, Glastonbury, because I love all the different strange thoughts. I love the healing field, where there's people sitting it's under amazing. gigantic pyramid and so their hair becomes more curly or 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 you or you sort of I sit b b with a great wicker sort of um figure i mean that's the amazing thing about glass when you go to glass and you find yourself get lost um i mean literally um but it's it's amazing because you come across so many different kinds of music music that you a lot of time you didn't even imagine existed and you hear something you're like wow that's mind-blowing and then you can go and see you know old bands new bands find something that, 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 that you thought you'd heard bits of and, and then suddenly you get really into it. So, you know, I love it. I love it. The great thing about Glastonbury is that it's not got stuck into that, oh, it's a lads festival or oh, it's a women's festival or it's a this festival or that festival. It's literally a festival where you can see anything and 
I mean, for me, that's what a festival's supposed to be. Yeah. So I'm glad that they've kept that. No, it's great. It's one of the greatest festivals on earth. So uh, we'll look forward to seeing you there because the BBC are going to be covering some of that. So. Apparently you are. So there we are. So it's, <laughs> it's great to have you. Thank you very much. Charlene Spateri. Thanks for coming. Nice to see you.